Welcome back to Medrash Umaisa, sharing a story for Shabbos, the Shabbos table, or wherever else you care to share it. In this week's Parsha, Parsha's Bo, we find the Pasuk, Va'amartem Zevach Pesach Hashem, that we will tell our children that this is the Korban Pesach, Asher Pesach Al Bote B'nei Yisrael, that Hashem jumped over, that's how we usually translate it, the houses of B'nei Yisrael B'mitzrayim, but Nogfos Mitzrayim, when he struck the Egyptians, Vespotenu Itzil, and he saved our houses. Rabbi Moshe Leib of Sasov, whose Yorzeit was just yesterday, was once by Rabbi Elimelech of Lijansk, and Rabbi Elimelech of Lijansk asked Rabbi Moshe to share a Dvar Torah. And he spoke about this very Posuk. He said, according to Diktuk, according to Hebrew grammar, if the Posuk meant to say that Hashem skipped over or jumped over the houses of Bnei Yisrael, it shouldn't say Posach al bote b'nei Yisrael. It should say Posach me'al, that he jumped over. If so, what does it mean, Posach al? He said, if you read it as it's written, it means the following. He says, Kaviyocho, so to speak, the Shechina, Hashem's divine presence, came into Mitzrayim. And when it found the Jewish house that was performing the Korban Pesach, according to all of its halachas, the Shechina jumped up and down, Posach al, jumped, danced on that house and sang, he said in Yiddish, Do Yid, here lives a Jew. Rebeli Melech became so enlivened by this Dvartur that he jumped on the table and started to dance and to sing, Do Yid, here lives a Jew. And that was the message of that Posach and the creation of that Jewish home in Mitzrayim. Why do I say that? This connects to an explanation that my Rebbe, the Talmud Rebbe Shlita, said about another aspect of the Posuk. It says that Hashem, Posach al Bote b'nei Yisrael b'Mitzrayim, b'nogfos Mitzrayim, when he struck the Egyptians, v'esbotenu itzil, he saved our houses. Now, it said earlier in the Parsha that the carbon Pesach was to be eaten ready for the road. Mosnechem Chagurim, your belt on, Alechem Beraglechem, your shoes on, Malkelchem Biedchem, your walking sticks in your hands. So everyone was going to be leaving those houses. What houses did Hashem save? Any real estate we had in Mitzrayim was going to be abandoned. He said that shows us that a Jewish house is not a building. A Jewish house is that family unit of Jews who are connected to following Hashem in whatever way he wants us to go. That's the true aspect of a house. When a young couple becomes engaged, we wish them that they should build the bayis nemon bis soil. There's no particular style or form of house that has to be built. They can rent as well. The idea of a bayis nemon bis soil is that unit, that couple, hopefully their descendants, who will build a family that's nemon, that's loyal to the mission that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has for them. That mission began on that night of Pesach and continues to this day. And the Shechina, I'm sure, as people are sharing this story, other divrei Torah, their songs at the Sudan Shabbos, the Shechina still dances on our homes and sings out, Dov Here lives a Jew. Have a wonderful Shabbos.